this is the start of our trip to Forest Park. <coughs> it's a caravan park in North Norfolk and it's in a very beautiful setting. We are going with our Freedom Jetstream uh, Twin, which is a new caravan to us. Very small, lightweight, and as you will see, uh, quite a compact package, but has everything that we need um, kitted out with a good kitchen with um, sink, four burner hob, grill, fridge, unfortunately no oven, but uh, you can get over that. We have a decent uh, washroom with a sink, flush electric flush toilet and a shower would you believe so all that in a very compact little uh, package and as you can see we've just arrived at uh, the park <coughs> we just sign into the office and then we make our way down to the pitch that we've booked We've booked uh, four days away and we were very, very lucky with the weather. Very lucky. It was uh, made it uh, so much more pleasant because it's a very, very beautiful site. Lots of amazing walks. Um, wildlife, etc. If you like peace and quiet, wildlife. And I would thoroughly recommend this as a place to come. Whether you have a tent, caravan or a motorhome, they cater for all. And as you can see, it's quite a big site. Um, and it's called Forest Park for the reason that it's in a forest. Um, some of the trees are amazing, really old trees. Some of the walks are, well, uh, really, really uh, beautiful. Ideal if you want to take uh, a dog, uh, some very good walks. All dogs have to be kept on leads. So uh, here we are coming up to our, uh, our patch. And just uh, pull in here as you can see when next door to a very small neighbor <laughs> I think you could probably get three of our vans in the size of that one very nice and we pull up and then uh, detach the van get her uh, set up so we're all uh, level and square and the next thing then is to get the water and provisions connect up the electric and then put up the awning we've gone through an air awning which is so simple to put up it took us about well pegging it out with everything and this is the first time we've actually done it on a pitch um, half an hour half an hour maybe just a little bit more so very quick very easy and uh, it worked very well for us for just the two of us we could get two lounges inside plus a table and it was very comfortable and you will see here with these upcoming uh, pictures it's um <laughs> i must admit uh, when we see it like this we realize how small she looks but actually it's uh, quite spacious <laughs> and there we are with the awning up giving us that much more room to play about with so we're then once we're settled 
we decide to make our way down and have a look round and a walk through the woods there. And as you can see, there's a, a lot of ground here. Lots of, um, let's see, there's um, two, I think there's three or four toilet blocks, showers, all the facilities that you need. And we were quite close to one. So we're making our way down this path. And as you can see, we've got trees on both sides. We're down in a little bit of a valley. So we walk down. And it is so peaceful, so nice. Um, there are caravans um, fixed bands up on the left hand side you can just see the back or the back and sort of garden parts that they have along the top but it doesn't distract from how pretty a setting this is and we're coming down to the rhododendrons on the right here and they do look spectacular And then, as I said about some wildlife, we have a little wagtail here. Looks like he's doing a goose step there, but uh, lots of birds. We did see some deer as well, and some other wildlife, as you will see as we get further down and into the woods. But I'd certainly, or we would certainly recommend it as somewhere to go. We're halfway between Cromer and Overstrand on the coast. And when we get round a little bit further, you'll see we can look across to Overstrand and Cromer. And you can see the sea. Here I'm in a little wooded bit. And I was managing to take some images of a little robin. And he posed nicely for me. So we carry on, move down the path. As I say, lots of uh, walks here. And it's, well, so if you like the peace and quiet, you've got that in abundance here. And just sit back and enjoy it as we walk down with spend our time just exploring really we did pop into chroma to get some fish and chips but that was about as far as we went we were quite happy on site and uh, just exploring across the path and into the undergrowth. Unfortunately, didn't get that good a shot of it, but uh, a couple of shots in the undergrowth as it's making its way um, further away. So that was the best we could do under the circumstances.
viewing point looking across to Chroma Golf Course and then you can see out to sea and as we scan across we can see over to Overstrand to our right so fantastic view here and I say thoroughly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs>